Hey everyone, this is Hubert from Traveling with Hubert. I was down at St. Simon's Island for a conference and I had a little over two hours of free time so I decided to video and that's a great thing. Uh, I had a little obstacle, it was raining but I decided to video anyway. So this video is, is riding in the rain and you don't see many of those on uh, the travel channels on YouTube uh, and I understand that you see windshield wipers and you hear windshield wipers and it's raining but I give you a tour of the island and I uh, hope you enjoy it the best you can uh, ask you to give us a thumbs up for the channel uh, if you have questions or comments uh, put those down in the comment section under the video description uh, subscribe to our channel uh, we appreciate those who have already subscribed uh, you're very very special people uh, to us anyway and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet and you're inclined to do so please go ahead and uh, subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell so that whenever we post a new video you'll get a, a notification uh, and share uh, the video with somebody else that might be interested in uh, St. Simon's uh, I know it, it's a golden aisle but on this particular day it was a wet golden aisle but thank you for watching uh, we appreciate you and uh, hope you're having a good day today and we hope that it's a blessed day Good morning, everyone. Uh, I have made it to St. Simon's Island. Uh, I am leaving the Robinson Inn at Itworth by the Sea, which is a Christian retreat. And I'm here for the Global Methodist Convening Conference. And I hope that doesn't offend anybody. I didn't say it to lorded over folks or not lorded over folks it's just stating where I am and my purpose for being here uh, it's raining uh, maybe it'll stop soon but I thought I'd ride around and let you see a little bit of St. Simon's Island Kathy is not with me, so this is a solo trip. And as such, it's going to be a little bit different. Because we're just not going to have the same kind of interaction as we would if she was here. This is the uh, one of the entrances to Magno, I mean to Edwards by the Sea. Tree covered, moss covered trees. My first uh, leg of this journey is to go down to St. Simon Village. And as you can see, the traffic is kind of constant like this all day long. Just going to get a break and just kind of accelerate on out into the traffic. Uh, where you saw that American Legion sign, that's another entrance to Magnolia Manor. Uh, this is Demir Road. We have to go around the roundabout to get down to the village. So 
sorry about that, folks. I don't know what the etiquette is for going around and around about. Maybe some of you viewers can tell me. Uh, you can see a sign there that says St. Island, St. Simon's Island. More um, tree covered roads. Seems to be very, very busy on the aisle, to my way of thinking. But a lot of tourists, um, a lot of people live here and work off the island. A lot of people off the island come here to work. So, it creates a lot of creates a lot of traffic that way. And we have um, another roundabout. It seems to be new. Uh, Retreat Avenue, there's a event center down that way, I think. This is King's Way. St. Simon's Presbyterian Church. This is the Pier Village. Ocean Boulevard. Uh, Argentinian and Italian artesian eats. Okay, this is the village. St. Simon's Pier Village. Science is uh, circa 1880. Shops of all kinds. The restaurant on the left, Barber Jeans. It's very good eats. I may have eaten at that one, but I know I've eaten at a different one. Waterfront Gifts. Uh, This is the pier. Uh, a lot of people fish. They're out there fishing now under the covered part. I think this is Neptune Park. If you're traveling and you're down in this area, there's a, a Brogan's. That's the way I pronounce it anyway. B-R-O-G-E-N-S. Another good place to eat. Uh, 
they have clothing shops. Like I said, water, waterfront gifts. There's a jewelry store. It's all kinds of things uh, down in the, in the pier village. They even have an old-fashioned hardware store. Lumber, building supplies, hardware. I'm assuming it's still here, uh, Mullet Bay right here at 15th Street, another good place to eat. And you can see it's just congested. Uh, the infrastructure I, I just, to me just can't handle all the traffic that's here. Of course this is July. may not be quite this bad in the fall and the winter. I know back at the, the park, uh, back at the Pier Village, this is uh, St. Simon's uh, United Methodist Church here on the right. They have all, uh, accommodations, motels, uh, beach rentals, those kinds of things. Uh, First Baptist Church. Many, many years ago, um, I was in school with a brother and sister uh, from St. Simon's. I believe their last name was Mann, and I believe his name was Gilbert, and her name was Bonnie. Uh, of course, you realize I'm talking about Oh gosh. Oh, 50 years ago. A little over 50 years ago. The range picked up a little bit. Um, I know this is messing up the, the view for you, but this is what it is today, and this is when I'm here, so we will do this video, and if you like it, you'll like it, and you'll give us a thumbs up. A couple of places up here. Uh, they're both uh, seafood places. One is called the Crab Trap. This one right there. The other one is Crab Daddy's. Uh, they both share that same parking lot. Some more shops on the right. Oh, the King and Prince Beach Golf Resort uh, to the right. Uh, that would be a good place for you to check out. I'm not familiar with it, never stayed there. Roundabout. This is First Street. I hope this is where I want to go. There's a wildlife viewing area here.
this is uh, beach access area so if you're interested this is this is where you would come to access the, one of the accesses uh, it's very very public here usually it's crowded like I said it's raining today and, uh, I'm not tempted to get out and go walking in the rain Matter of fact, it's back up this way. You'll get to see it from this one, this one, from this perspective. That was East Beach. My memory's not as bad as I thought it was. Oh, the rain has picked up a good bit. I hope this doesn't spoil. I know it. It, it's, it would for me. Uh, not really spoil it, but it would be uh, a little bit aggravating to see the windshield wipers go back and forth but like I said I don't know when I'm going to get another chance to do this please just um, bear with me there, Massengale Park is back there on the left that's another beach access Again, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to stop and get a picture of one. Uh, maybe I can get one offline. But there's an artist that has carved faces in some of the trees here on St. Simons. And I know people come and make a trip just to find all the faces. Um, that might be something you'd like to do. This construction, I think this is a school, uh, St. Simons Elementary School, Primary School. We're headed back toward the, the, the pier, but we're going to turn to the right here on Demery Road. And I may not be pronouncing it. That correctly. Yeah, that was a St. Simons Elementary School. Yes. One thing about this video, though, it's going to show you that it's not always sunny in the Golden Isles of Georgia. There's another Baptist church. Vacation rental. The rain has let up a little bit. Some construction. Out working in the rain. You gotta work, folks. On the left is the St. Simons Airport. They do have an airport here. 
townhouses on the right. Uh, this is takes us back to East Beach if you go to the right at that, that exit. I could have come that way, but I wanted to ride back by the elementary school. The range picking up again. Rainy day in Georgia. This is the buildings you see on the left are, are part of the airport. See, to prove it, there's an airplane. shops on the right, businesses. This is one of the older roundabouts. One of the first. May have been the first. Businesses. Uh, oh, I have to look up the name of this street. I can't remember. Redfern Vi Village is on the left. There's a lot of shops in there if you're into shopping. Magnolia Manor uh, campus on the left. I live on one in Americas, Georgia. Oglethorpe Park on the right. Not exactly sure what that was or is. You see there's just a lot of traffic today. Well, every day really. There's a house for rent. shopping center up here on the left. Actually, this is a Lutheran church here on the left, but uh, we're coming up to it. They have a lot of stuff in there. I think they have a theater. They have a, used to have a bookstore, uh, places to eat. turn to the right, you go out to Sea Island, which is an exclusive uh, community. I think you, I don't, unless you live there, I don't think you can get on anymore, go get on to that island. But you'll hear, hear people talk about Sea Island. I said it's very, very exclusive. Just be aware of that if, when you come to visit um, St. Simon's. The Laney's Bistro and Bar. Just naming off some of these places. Uh, you might be, like I said, if you come here, you might be interested in those. The golf course on the right.
And as of, as of July the 23rd, excuse me, as of July of 2023, uh, gas is 356.9 on the island. This place on the right is called Benny's Red Barn. It's a steak place. Again, if you're looking for an excellent place to eat, you like, you like steak, seafood, uh, that's, a, that's a good place. But I would suggest you make reservations. All the places on the island you really need to make. You know, except for the fast food places. Uh, you need to make reservations or you need to get there really, really early. A lot of the places don't open until like 5.30 and you need to be there at 5.30 because they fill up quickly. And the weather really is bad today, folks. I, I, I can't stress that enough. Oh, well, gotta go around the roundabout, folks. To the right is a residential area. There's a memorial garden to the left. This is the first African Baptist church, very, very historical church. I will try to find some information about that and put it in the video. Okay, this place on the left is Christ Church. Uh, it's still an active church. Uh, beautiful grounds. Uh, some famous people buried in their cemetery. And again, if it were not raining, I'd get out and, and do a little walk around. Wesley Church at Frederica. I think I missed a turn. This seems to be a residential area. couple of signs back there and I didn't get to see those when I'm on the William Bartram Trail. Yeah folks I miss this turn. And this is Fort Frederica National Monument. If there's no traffic when I come back I'll try to take a picture of that. parking here. Um, again, it's a rainy day today. I don't suspect that there's a whole lot going on. As you can see, there's the visitor center. And then on the other side of this wooden fence is the uh, historical side of Fort Frederica. I'll put a little information about that in uh, In the video, also that's that's the site of Frederica, uh, one of the early settlements here. It's part of our history here in Georgia. Uh, General Oglethorpe, one of the founders, uh, you know, it was kind of his base. John Wesley, uh, the founder of uh, the father of I'm gonna say founder, but the father of Methodism. Uh, and I'm not going to be able to get a picture of that. And 
I'm not sure I got it on the video, but if, it, if I do, I'll use it. But John Wesley, uh, the father of Methodism, There's a sign that says Christ Church. I said that's still an active church. So when you come, be respectful of that. They do welcome visitors, by the way. Christ Episcopal Church. There's the old church. Yes. The Wesley Oak. And the cemetery. And if I got any of that information wrong, when I was go to edit the video, I'll try to straighten it out. And the rain seems to be picking up one more time. Also, there's a, a battle site here called the Battle of the Bloody Marsh, which uh, again is important to our history here in Georgia. Uh, and that's where uh, the English stopped the Spanish encroaching on, on this area. Because actually the first uh, people here in this area, Europeans, were the Spanish. I'm going to have to stop and, and change uh, ba uh, cameras. I can't change batteries. I just have to change cameras. It's a Circle K here, by the way. And, uh, I have a, one of their Easy Pay cards. I like using that, especially if I'm on the road. Because it, that, it only works at Circle K. Anyway, we're back on Frederica Road. Uh, <coughs> we're coming up on the intersection of, uh, well, if you go to the left, you go to Sea Island, but I want to go back to it was by the sea. So I'll be making a right at that light. brightened up a little bit, but the rain's still coming down heavily. Traffic's just atrocious, folks. It might be letting up some, too. That, that's a good thing. make this turn. The shopping center I was talking about earlier is on the left. Have pretty much everything you want there. There's more shopping on the right. There's a Harris Teeter in there. There's a UPS store. Cinema up here on the, on the left if you want to watch a movie while you're on your trip. There's a Christian school to the right back there. And the rain is picking back up again, people. We've made it back to Magnolia Manor. This is Booth Gate. Sorry about the fluctuate. 
Well, I really appreciate you uh, coming along on this uh, driving tour of St. Simons Island. And just remember, just because this is a sunny south don't mean it's always sunny.